Ladies and gentlemen, may I remind you that trading is risky and not suitable for everyone. Your past performance, good or bad, is not necessarily indicative of future results. Please stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term. And never risk money you cannot afford to lose. Welcome to Quantbox Daily. Thursday, January 19th. Almost the end of the week, my friends. What is Quantbox? Quantbox is your global macroeconomic quant in a box. It's a fundamental tool that gives you a fundamental bias. Has some other cool tools like a market heat map your most bullish pairs, your most bearish pairs fundamentally, puts a whole bunch of data together for you, collates it in a beautiful dashboard, and then gives you a fundamental bias, which you can then match with technical analysis and get an edge in the market. One week trial is just 790. All right, cool. So as you know, we take a look at the market heat map. I hope that you guys are doing this outside of these sessions because there's some great trades that you could be getting. I, I want to point your attention to this Aussie dollar USD you would have received a signal yesterday on on the market heat map where Aussie dollar USD would have shown as one of the greatest gainers for the session. And if you opened your charts, you would have seen that price was at a monthly R2, which is a very significant pivot point, and the weekly target. And you could have then gone onto an M5 chart and you could have been like, oh, looky, looky. Price breaks support and support becomes resistance. Okay, fair enough. Your 2155 hadn't crossed yet. What you could have then done is you could have gone on to a lower time frame, like an M1. You could have been like, okay, I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a 2155 cross at that time of day. Come on, chart. Just scoot back over here. You can be like, oh, look, right over there. 2155 cross price pulls back to 21 EMA. You could have sold there and you would have been in this trade, right? What would have helped you get there? The market heat map. You would have seen that Aussie dollar USD was up, bullish. You would have gone to your quant box. You would have seen that Aussie dollar USD on your total, your bias is a sell. You would have waited for that sell. You would have verified it technically and you would have been in that trade, Okay. Now, at London, we have to work with what we got. So, you know, you can't just rely on London. You've got to do this at London and New York and New York Stock Exchange. And so this, this particular trade for yesterday was New York Stock Exchange. Okay. This is the last candle to close before New York Stock Exchange. And so at New York Stock Exchange yesterday, you would have been like, I'm selling Aussie dollar USD. I'm at a resistance level, very significant resistance level. Market heat map would have shown Aussie USD is up. One of the strategies is you look at these and you say, well, if I've got very bullish pairs and I've got a bearish bias, has price come up to resistance? That's the strategy we have been following. I hope that you are doing this in your trading because it's a very efficient way to trade. We're going to do it right now. Now, a lot of time this week and last week, we've been looking at pairs, waiting for setups. Okay, We've been discussing opportunities that you might have had to be patient on. And some of those things have worked out. Let's take a look and see. So on the bullish pairs, what we're looking for is pairs that have come up and with the fundamental bias of bearish, has price come up to resistance? Can we sell? Or are we in a bullish trend? Is the bias bullish and can we continue the buy? That's what you're looking for, right? So starting off, we can see very bullish, Euro Aussie, Euro Kiwi, pound Aussie, pound Kiwi. Okay, so that tells us that uh, we need to go into our pairs over here. We look at our Euro Aussie dollar and we say, what is Euro Aussie dollar right now? It's currently neutral. What does that mean? Well, it means that you're going to go into your chart right now and you're going to use technicals. Okay. If this was a sell, then that's a great spot to be in because fundamentally you're bearish and this is a bullish pair. So you're looking for resistance, but it's neutral. So we go to the currency pair and we have a look and see if there's any opportunities. So Euro Aussie, all the way down here. Look at the daily first. We can see, okay, we're still stuck in this range. So we just move on. Cool. Euro Kiwi. Neutral. We look at our Euro Kiwi. We can see that still stuck in the range. We move on. Okay. We go pound Aussie. Neutral. Look at our pair. And we've now broken out of this range. Cool. By the way, we spoke about this yesterday saying price breaking out. So yesterday, 
you would have had you would have had this would have come up as um bearish on the market heat map you would have opened your charts and lining yourself up for asia you would have seen price at support you've got a neutral bias so you're absolutely allowed to buy that you're completely in position if you use the market heat map and if you use this strategy yesterday you would have absolutely been in this trade if we take a look at this trade yesterday let's say you got this signal over here um it could also have been yesterday let's take a look yeah so we had this over here we had price sitting inside this range so looking at the h1 chart m15 chart there's your 2155 cross this happened much later in the day okay so you would have if you were patient yesterday and you set this up yesterday guess what you're in a pound aussie long look at those look at those pips beautiful right cool right now what are we doing well at the moment price is coming up we're looking for resistance i don't see any lower lows and lower highs i don't see price closing at resistance yet i see very bullish you have got a daily target coming up lower low lower high take it down okay targets daily central um in terms of pivot points you're coming off an s1 so ultimately if you're looking for a monthly swing you're waiting for price to get to r1 so if you're doing the daily profit taking zone down to central then uh, it's most likely a day trade if you get it set up right cool pound kiwi we got a neutral bias pound kiwi On the daily, still stuck inside this range. So we leave that alone. On H4 time frame, still stuck inside this range. Looks pretty nasty. Target coming up there. Maybe that's on your heat on your market watch. The thing is, what you're going to do now is you can just keep coming back to this. At New York, you come back to this, you'll probably see that pound um, pound key will probably also be in the market heat map. So you come back and look and see where it is. Price at a profit taking zone, lower, low, lower high. Daily target coming up. Very bullish right now. Okay, so pound Kiwi, pound Aussie, they're on your watch list right now. Okay. Now look at how nice that is. One, two, three, four. Fair enough. Those are still stuck in a range. But that just saved us a whole bunch of time. Instead of going through every single pair, every single pair, or every single pair, we just saved a whole bunch of time. Look how efficient that was. One, two, three, four. Beautiful, right? Okay, USD czar currently um, up. So looking at USD czar. Bias is currently neutral. USD czar on the daily, looking pretty rangy, H4. You got, a, you got a weekly target that you're at right now. So add this to your watch list. It's very rangy right now. You want some kind of trend indication. Okay. Low, 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 high. Boom. Cool. Uh, let's see. That's the top ones. Let's look at this. Now, look at all your yen pairs. We spoke about yen pairs yesterday. Let's see what we were talking about in yen pairs. So, indices are down, risk off. Okay. Aussie yen. We've got Aussie yen sell. Okay. Let me continue the trade, the bearish trade. Let's look and see what we spoke about yesterday. Aussie yen daily. Okay. H4. What did we talk about yesterday? Yeah, I think we're looking for a lower, low, lower high on this, which we didn't get. If you were doing this, that was yesterday at four o'clock. Price was coming up, closed there. We didn't have really, we didn't have structure. We we're going to buy this, and then in terms of like price, lower, low, lower, high sort of London open didn't really get a lower low lower high didn't really get a pullback to 21 EMA later that day okay we still said too high to buy difficult trade to take okay so these are bouncing up and down okay in terms of today what can you do still very rangy let's just trap this Let's see what happens to that purple block as we move on. Um, <clears throat> uh, Kiwi Yen. Kiwi Yen currently neutral. Let's take a look. 
QEM, okay. Daily, let's trap this. H4, let's trap this. We still spoke about price potentially coming back to the bottom of the range. Didn't really happen. Price broke through the bottom of the range. Let's just trap this in a range. Let's wait for breakouts on that. So you can put the little purple block, whatever the color block you're using. You put that there when you go to the chart. Don't have to worry about going through your parents saying, oh, is it, is it this, is it that? You see purple block, has price broken out? If yes, you could sell top of range. You could buy bottom of range, totally fine. Or you could wait for a breakout and trade a trend. Um, okay, so Kiwi Yen, Pound Yen, <clears throat> been quite bearish lately. Strong sell still. Okay, cool. Pound Yen, let's take a look. Pound Yen, okay, let's just trap price in this little range here. H4, same kind of story. You can see we're looking for price to pull back to the bottom of the range, same as the Kiwi Yen. That didn't really happen. Price broke through the bottom of that little tiny range, came up to the top of the range, still ranging, right? Okay, cool. Let's leave that alone. And then Aussie dollar USD, right? You can see, so now it's currently showing down. But this trade is now too late for us because we should have taken this yesterday. Well, you should have taken it yesterday. If you were looking at your heat map, you would have. I spoke about that one at the start of the session. Okay. Cool. What else we got? We got Swiss Japanese yen. Let's look at the Swiss Japanese yen. Currently neutral. Swiss Japanese yen. I don't think I have Swiss yen. Let's look at the defaults. Let's go over here. Swiss Japanese yen. Where are you? It's so frustrating when you see a coach going through a currency page. You're like, it's over there. It's over there. It's over there. Can't you see it? It's over there. Thank you. Okay. Also very rangy. There's a bit of a lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, 21 EMA down. H for it. Okay, looking, let's, let's put this into lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, and currently down here. So there's not much you can do with that. Unless you're continuing the trend, you add a 21 EMA on the 50 minute chart right now. So how could you trade that? Okay, you've currently got um, Swiss Bank neutral. Okay, currently bearish risk off so at a 15 minute 21 ema so let's, let me let's, let's let's analyze this okay so under what conditions would i not sell this well if price was making higher highs and higher lows okay so price came down and came straight back up i don't see a higher low at, at this resist at this support over here you add a weekly pivot point that's cool 21 below the 55 all right um H4, you haven't got a double bottom or anything. We've been making lower lows and lower highs, so I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to sell that. H1, okay, pivot point-wise, you're not in a great position, but you could be taking this down to target. Let's look at the M15 says cool. M5, M5, if you, were, if you wanted to do this, what you could do is just to be absolutely sure, you could wait for lower, low, lower high on M5 or even on M1. That could be a cool play as well. So if you if you um, put this into a little range over there on M1, wait for price to come down, 21 cross the 55, pull back 21, take it down. That's how I would do that. Okay? Because you got price at the 21 EMA on the 50-minute chart, but you want to make sure that that's going to go down. So all you want to do is confirm bearishness. How do you confirm bearishness? Give me a lower, low, lower high on some time frame. And M1 seems like that could be legit. Okay? So wait for this to come down, lower, low, 21 cross the 55, pull back up, 21, take it down. And your target, um, you've come off the weekly R1 earlier this week. And you can see the weekly S1 down here. That's a potential target. You've got, from a daily pivot point perspective, you've come off the daily pivot point. Um, so you could take it on target. What I would do is, if you get this, if you get the setup on the M1 time frame, it verifies lower, low, lower, high then what I would do is I just continue watching the M15 chart and uh, it's going to be a scalp. So as price comes down, if it drops, as you get closer and closer to these levels, just pay very careful attention to price making higher highs and higher lows. Okay. Or you could OCO it. 
your stop is going to go above i would put it above here that's an 87 pip stop your target is down here it's 213 pips so you're totally fine when you get to 80 pips which is just over here it's not very far 80 pips is over here and that is a monthly s1 as soon as you get there because you're going to on m15 you don't want to wait for it higher 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 low on m15 what i would do is i'll pay attention to m5 okay and I pay attention to M1. But you can see you're still waiting for the trade to take place. Okay. That's how I would do that. Um, brum, 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 CAD yen. CAD yen coming through <clears throat> as a sell. So CAD yen. Ta, ta, ta. Daily. Okay, so let's just put this in this little range over here. Price is currently breaking out of that range. Okay, here we did have price coming up to the bottom of that range. So if you had, a, if you did that yesterday, that could have helped. Um, but we still said yesterday at the at the, at the um, London session, price is too high to buy. We didn't really discuss selling it down. You can see, like, not the most amazing situation. You could have taken off for of, of a twenty-one. You see, this is one of those situations where yesterday at, if you were watching your market heat map, you would have seen that CAD yen was down, like the yen pairs, looked at your charts and seen, can I continue the trade? Seeing 21 EMA below the 55, taking that trade. If you look over here, okay, like we said now in the 15 minute chart, price comes up, pulls back 21. Is it a valid trade? Look at your M1 time frame, just to verify, make sure. We zoom left, we go in here, we zoom in. You can see at that point in time, price breaks the 21.55 up. You got the price at 21 M5 time frame. You come on to, I'm sorry, M5 time frame. Come on to M1. You see that. You're like, okay, cool. Let's just make sure it's going down. Price comes down. Price pulls back. And there's your roll reversal. And so you take the sell. Beautiful. So again, market heat map would have showed you that KD when was down. Come to your charts. Can you continue the trade? And you are bearish fundamentally. Okay, nice little strategy. Euro yen. Neutral. Oh, one thing that's busy nagging me, what do you do with CAD yen now? Well, <clears throat> it's bearish fundamentally. You're breaking out of a range currently. Let's just, let's just trap price in the range over here. And you're waiting for a pullback to the bottom of the range. Okay. Wait for the candle to close, H4 candle. If you get close at resistance, just verify lower time frames. Have you got lower, low, lower high? Okay. You are at 21 EMA right now. Could you sell this? Sure. It's bearish. You could sell this. Same thing. So what you do is you say, okay, cool. I've got price at 21 EMA right now. On M15 time frame, price is currently breaking 21.55. Doesn't mean that you, you definitely aren't going to buy this. So all you're waiting for is price to come down, pull, break the twenty-one fifty-five, pull back up, roll reversal, take it down. And of course, once you've got price doing that in M five, just go to M one and make sure that that's happening there too. Like in the other examples, and you could continue this trade on CAD yen. If it doesn't happen, then step away, leave it alone. Okay, Euro yen. So Euro yen neutral. Let's look at Euro Yen over here. So Euro Yen daily, let's trap this in the range. Okay, currently at the bottom of the range. Let's trap this in the range. Let's take it from the high to the low, like that. M15, H1. Okay, M15. So you can see here, now, until you get a high or low, this is still bearish. Okay, price is breaking the 15 minute 21 EMA. You got roll reversal over here. And you continue selling this. Is it currently bullish? I don't see a high or low. So it's not bullish yet. Once price comes up to resistance, even the 55, that's also fine. Remember the 55 and the M15 time frame is your 21 and the H1 time frame. Fair, there or thereabouts. So um, you can see that 55 is just below the DM2. H1 is above the DM2. So it's not 100%. But you can sort of look at it like that. You've got roll reversal there. 
um, M15, you're currently breaking that. So once this candle closes that resistance, be it roll reversal, 55, your, your 100 is more like your 21, okay, on H1. So when price comes up there, lower time frame, okay, wait for that to fold, lower, low, lower high, verify M1, and you can then continue the trade on the euro yen. If you're looking for a buy, because again, the bias is neutral, then you could be looking for a higher, higher, higher low. If you get a higher, higher, higher low in the one yen pair, look at the other yen pairs and see if you get the same thing. Why? Well, maybe what's happening right now in the yen pairs is due to the Japanese yen, due to risk. Indices are down, okay? Do you suddenly start seeing a change in indices? You could also look at your indices as well and see what's happening there on price action. Are they currently very bearish? Are they currently very bullish? What's going on? Okay. That's how yen pairs. Aussie CAD. Let's have a look at Aussie CAD. Aussie CAD coming through. Bias is neutral. Let's take a look. Aussie CAD all the way down here. Okay. Coming off of an R1, M4 as well. Big red candle. H4, I don't see lower lows and lower highs. Again, this is another pair yesterday. You would have received the signal yesterday. Same time as Aussie USD. On the market watch, would have said, this pair is very bullish. You would have come here, seen all oh, price and profit taking the zone. You then would have seen on the M15 time frame this action over here. You could have sold over there. That was more at Asia. Okay, this role reversal here. Would have been on your, would have been on your, on your, your watch list. I'm waiting for a lower low, lower high. Alternatively, if you're going to sell up here, on M5, with that. Now you don't have 2155 on this time frame, but if you look at your M1 time frame, where are we? There's your, you see that, you're like, okay, cool. Price breaks 21 EMA. So it break, breaks down, pulls back, and there's your M1 confirmation. Out of 21 EMA, currently bearish. So using the multiple time frames, just to verify bearishness. Am I bearish in all time frames? On the M15, you would have said, okay, hold on a second. I've got price at, a, well, sorry, M5. I've got price at a roll reversal over there, but I don't have a 21 below the 55. Is this going to continue going down? So I've got roll reversal M5, and then I've got 2155 cross, pull back up, roll reversal, take it down. You just do that consistently with the market heat map and your overall bias throughout the entire day. It's very cool. I honestly and truly, like this tool and this strategy I'm showing you, it's absolutely worth 790 for one week trial. Just get this tool, use it for one week, do this at London Open, New York Open, New York Stock Exchange Open, Asia Open. This updates all the time. Just refresh the page though, okay? It's not a live feed, but if I refresh the page, this will change. Look. Give it a second. on a live feed because of how data studio works on google you can see now those are all the same usd czar has now moved one down um our indices are still down aussie and is still there kiwi and aussie dollars come down a bit further kiwi dollars now there aussie cads over here you can see that there's a slight difference in the pairs right now you suddenly got kiwi dollar over there so you got a kiwi dollar and you say okay what is my kiwi dollar kiwi dollar is Neutral, and you look over here. Go to Kiwi Dollar, trap this in a range. Go to your H4, and you're currently coming down. Okay, so you're not at resistance on H4. You are currently coming down. Can I continue this trade? Wait for price to pull back to the 21 EMA. There's your resistance. When price gets there, verify M5, M1, and potentially take this down to profit-taking zone if you if it verifies through. Now, you can see five minutes ago, we didn't have Kiwi Dollar over here. 
So this little heat map is really helpful. What I like about this heat map is that you're not looking at a heat map like this, where you've got stuff that's very difficult to analyze. It just tells you what your currency pairs are. Okay? I love it. All right, guys, that's my view on the market today. Stay patient, stay disciplined, stay liquid. I'll see you tomorrow. Have an amazing day, my friends. All the best. Ta-ta.